Hey guys, it's Renee. So today we're going to be making clay hoop earrings, different sizes and different thickness. I'm going to be using some clay. This is porcelain clay. This is a fresh package, just new. I'm opening this just now. I love working with this one because it's so easy to work with. The only thing that it dries fast, so you have to work kind of fast. And then to make the shape of the hoop earrings, you need something round. As you can see, I have a bunch of different objects right here. You can use piping dips for this, depending on the size of the tip. This is the size of earring that you would have. You can use a sippy cap, like the mini ones. You can use a makeup brush as well. You can use one of these pens that is like thicker. I also have like this travel size perfume. You can even use some paint, like the cap itself, or you can use an old bottle of wine. It's pretty much up to you. The objects that I'm gonna be working with is the brush, the perfume bottle, and the sippy cap. And I also found this bottle of like dry shampoo. So I'm just going to start with the shape itself. It's basically a really thin snake or a sausage. And you're pretty much going to be wrapping this around the object that you choose, depending on the size you want to go for. The smaller the object, the smaller that your hoop earring is going to be, the bigger the object and the bigger it's going to be. And I did the same thing with all the other objects that I had. And what you see me doing right here, I did twice, but I'm just showing you how to make one. Then I'm just going to let those dry in there. Once they are dry or getting dry, I'm just going to remove them from like everywhere and then let them fully dry by themselves. I'm just going to be taking a pair of scissors and I'm just going to be working on the shape of the hoop earrings now. This means cutting this twice and just making sure they look even, just as even as you can make them to be. I just eyeballed the whole thing, I didn't measure anything, but just as long as they look pretty similar. And when I wrapped the clay around the object itself, I could have left a small gap in between the ends, but cutting them after, once they are done, it's easier. I also made some thin ones. For those, I used these objects like the pen, the sippy cup, and dry shampoo bottle. And I'm just going to be rolling my clay again, but I'm going to be making this much thinner. I wouldn't make it super thin though because the thinner it is and the easier it is to break. And the rest is pretty much the same, just wrapping it around the object. For the big thin pair though, I worked with polymer clay just because I wanted to show you this option just in case you have polymer clay and don't have the other clay. It's pretty much in the same like result, you just uh, wrap it around. And because I'm working with polymer clay and that one needs the oven to harden, I'm working over some wax paper and just uh, remove, this is how I removed this one, but the result is pretty much the same. So I'm going to be using two ear posts. They look like this, the ones that I'm using. I'm going to be using some pliers as well. And I'm just going to remove this kind of like disc that it has around it because I just need that piece. Maybe they sell them like this and I don't have to be removing anything, but I've never seen them before. So I'm just going to be gluing those two parts with some super glue and I'm just going to let them dry. To let them dry, I'm just going to be putting them on top of some block of foam. Then I'm going to be using some gold paint, my brush, a napkin, and I'm just going to be painting them all around, giving them a few coats until it's like a big enough. Actually, I'm running out of paint of this one and I want to try something else. If you know of a good acrylic paint that looks like gold jewelry, just let me know, it's maybe something that I can buy online. And yeah, I'm just going to be letting them dry after. And yeah guys, these are the hoop earrings that I want to share with you. I went for different sizes and different thickness, just because I wanted to share with you how you can customize this. That's the cool thing about it. I made a pair of each, but I'm just showing you one of each. You can use silver, you can use any color that you want, but I just went with gold because that's the color that suits my skin tone the most. Really easy to make, pretty lightweight, and they, I think, look really nice. They are really fun to make. These are delicate because they are made out of clay and handmade. I wouldn't swim with them and I wouldn't take a shower with them, but other than that, I've been using them for pretty much anything else. So yeah, I really hope you like them and you give them a try. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more custom jewelry coming up, and share this. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching, I'll talk to you later, and take care. Bye!